Hello and welcome to GTA 5 Minute Facts. In this show we bring you everything you need to know about GTA 5 in 5 minutes or less. Today's show is all about the map and its key locations. If you enjoy the show, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe too, so you can be guaranteed not to miss your favourite daily slice of GTA 5 action in the run up to the game's launch on September the 17th. One other thing is that this is the sister show of our Big Daddy offering GTA 5 O'Clock, an ultra detailed look at the world of GTA 5 that's been running since November last year. And it's the only YouTube show to have seen both GTA 5 and GTA Online in action and have visited the offices of Rockstar North. So do yourself a favour and please check it out. Okay, let's go. GTA 5 is set in Los Santos, a fictional version of Los Angeles, plus the surrounding countryside of Blaine County, which is based on real life locations like the Salton Sea. GTA 5 is Rockstar's biggest open world game yet, bigger than GTA San Andreas, Red Dead Redemption and GTA 4 combined. In fact, if you include the huge underwater sections, GTA 5 is five times bigger than Red Dead Redemption. In Los Santos alone, the diversity is huge and is best viewed from the northernmost tip of the city from GTA 5's version of the Griffiths Observatory. To the northeast of Los Santos, you can see the iconic Vinewood sign, high above the hills of the neon-soaked streets of Vinewood. It's GTA 5's version of Hollywood, where you can visit hotels such as the Richmond, which is GTA 5's version of the famous Beverly Hills Hotel, or the Von Krastenberg, which is based on the Hilton chain. Take a walk past the Oriental Theatre, which is based on the Chinese theatre, to see characters like Impotent Rage and washed up film stars like Pamela Drake. In the northwest you can see Rockford Hills, which is actually Beverly Hills, where Michael lives in a luxury mansion with his disaffected family, and it's close to Los Santos Country Club with its nine playable golf holes. From here you can see the towering skyscrapers of downtown, including the Maze Bank, with its rooftop helipad, and the Schlongberg Sachs building. Nestled side by side are the FIB and the IAA buildings, which are GTA 5's version of the FBI and CIA, where we see Michael abseiling to rescue a key hostage from the IAA during a key mission, as detailed during Game Informer's demo of the game. Oh, and don't miss the under construction Mile High Club next to the giant ammunition, also with its own helipad. In the southeast, you can find the urban sprawl of the projects, home of the families like the Grove Street Gang and the Ballers, where Franklin starts the game. Further south again, you're at Los Santos Commercial Airport, not far from the industrial docks. Finally, on the glorious southwest coast, you find Del Perro Pier, with the famous Ferris wheel of Pleasure Pier, plus the hippies, hustlers and posers of Bohemian Vespucci Beach. If you head out of Los Santos on the Route 68 freeway, which is based on the famous Route 66, you went to the countryside of Blaine County, home to the Alamo Sea, the Sonora Desert and the towering Mount Chiliad. GTA 5's resident maniac and playable character Trevor Phillips can be found in the ramshackle trailer park of Sandy Shores, nestled on the Alamo Sea coastline near to the headquarters of the West Coast chapter of the Lost Motorcycle Crew. Follow the Alamo Sea to the west and it splits into two rivers, the northernmost Alamo River, which is a steep valley with a series of bridges ripe for base jumping, and the southernmost Sancudo River, with its snaking banks and agricultural fields. To the northeast of the Alamo Sea is Cape Catfish, a coastal region with its iconic lighthouse. To the northwest of the Alamo Sea, you have Mount Josiah, which is dwarfed only by the enormous Mount Chiliad to the north. On the map's very northernmost point, you will snatch glimpses of a small town called Polito, which appears to be home to military equipment and the location of one of the game's heists. Blaine County also plays host to a series of secret locations, well they're not that secret, including the prison, Sandy Shores airfield, plus a military base. Not to mention the Pacific Bluffs, which are GTA 5's version of Malibu, which is to the southwest coast. And the entire map is surrounded by ocean depths, ripe for exploration with sunken ships, hidden secrets and dangerous sea life. So that's that. If you want detailed map information plus more news, analysis and informed speculation, don't miss our weekly GTA 5 o'clock show every Wednesday at 5pm British Standard Time or check out our vast back catalogue of shows. Follow us on Twitter for up to the second GTA 5 news and please don't forget to subscribe and come back tomorrow for more GTA 5 Minute Facts. Only 13 days to go until the game's out.